The Minister of Information, Culture and Tourism has advised officials in every sector of the ministry to actively promote the country's historic days. Professor Dr. Bosen Kamvong Dala said Historic Days Uprising Day on August 23rd, Constitutional Day on August 15th, and ASEAN Day on August 8th must not be forgotten. The ministry arranged a lecture on the three historic days this month. They are Uprising Day on August 23, 1945, Constitution Day on August 15, 1991, and ASEAN Day on August 8, 1967. <laughs> Professor Dr. Boss and Kam Vong Dala said the media, culture and tourism sectors should organize activities to promote Laos' historical days to the younger generation. celebrations ended with both rulers and ruled giving stressing that historic days uprising day on august 23rd constitution day on august 15th and asean day on august 8th must not be forgotten <laughs> He said the aim is to expand the traditions and culture of these days to the youth so that they know and understand the history behind the commemorative days and how it has helped to shape the country today. During the lecture, the minister spoke briefly about the history behind these days and also explained how the Lao heroes, leaders and people of that time worked and contributed to the country before the dates were officially announced. The ministry also detailed various important activities the Lao Party leaders and the community were involved in. Professor Dr. Bo Sankam also said that without our country's heroes, there would not be Laos as we know it today. According to him, our country is peaceful, happy and civilized because of them. Most of them work very hard in making Laos the nation it is today, so our younger generation need to carry on our mission into the future. We need to teach Lao youth about our history so that they understand and appreciate the hardships and achievements our heroes, party leaders and people went through. He added that Uprising Day was very important for our nation as it led to the Lao PDR being successfully established in December 1975. However, the most important work of the history today is to promote the achievements of our country's past to the younger generation in order for them to pass it on to their children in the future. The minister also spoke about Constitutional Day which was officially announced to be commemorated on August 15th in 1991. After the national liberation, the party guidelines was to lead people in implementing two strategy plans for protecting and developing the country. In 1986, the party arranged an innovation policy beginning with the economy by changing the policy of benevolence to one of administration and marketing mechanisms. According to the policy, unity was needed on the governance of the constitution and the law. At the end of the lecture, Professor Dr. Bo Sankam spoke about the establishment of ASEAN on August 8, 1967, with Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, Singapore and Thailand, the first to join the Union. The main objective of ASEAN is to promote regional peace, stability and sustainability in order to make Southeast Asia an area of no nuclear weapons or any other destructive weaponry. ASEAN was also put in place with the aim of creating a self-sufficient region through promoting political, sustainable, economical and socio-cultural cooperation. These three historic days commemorated this month are important for the Lao people with many other days throughout the year signifying meaningful history in Laos. <laughs>